Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here today wiring um, a, it's going to be a Whirlpool Spa. So it's a, a 19 foot long um, unit, all in one, kind of like a hot tub. Um, but the hot tub is on the first six foot and the rest of the 13 feet is all a, um, a swimming pool. So it's going to have jets so you resist you. It's kind of like a... Um, uh, swimming therapeutic pool. Anyways, um, the, I wanted to kind of show you this is what it is. Okay, so um, these are starting to get more popular. They're very expensive. I've heard they're anywhere from uh, 22000 up to forty. Depends on what you're getting. Uh, what you need to keep in mind is that when you buy it, it is just not a normal hot tub wire. Meaning, when we go to install, it requires 50 amp two pole breaker here. And on this panel, we're doing circuit 34 and 36 here. He has a gas dryer, so we pulled it. And then he had two spares here that were in the on position, which we lucked out. Uh, otherwise, he only had one more space left and he couldn't have wired this tub. The service change on this would be a nightmare. This house was built in like 55. Old cinder blocks right here. We had to chip this out with a hammer drill just to get into the bottom of the panel. They'll just have a handyman come in here and put some mortar and mix a little bit of paint into it or, or chalk and that should actually get that fine. Uh, this right here was an old switch they weren't using. It was already nippled in the block. So we came out and drilled through. So again, this is two 50 amp wires, which is going to be basically six number 12 or six number sixes and uh, two number eights for the ground. So we came through here and we didn't have a lot of options because of this window. So we had to go down low. He's going to push his bark back. We had to parallel it all the way down. As the grade slopes, he asked us to kick it down. And then when we got to here, we ran it across. So this tub's a little unique. So where these blocks are is where the tub's gonna sit. And they're sinking it into the ground. And then they're building a retaining wall. Um, but keep in mind, that this kind of tub actually has service points for motors, two motors that side, two motors this side on the narrow side, it's eight by 19. This side is where we have both connection box for the electrical. And basically the, they need to extend this further to have at least 27 to 30 inches for someone to get down there and pull a motor and get in and out. Um, again, two GFCI uh, disconnects right here and uh, what they're pro we're probably going to end up doing is coming back when they dig this out a little more, offsetting our PVC with our heat box, coming up underneath. And instead of trying to stub up under the tub, they're, they're having a crane come, drop it. Um, too stressful to try to figure out two conduits underneath, drilling it and dropping it. So we're going to try to put it right over here. And as we stub up to the side of it, we'll be able to flex into the tub as well. Um, so yeah, keep in mind when you're um, um, on these YouTube videos that uh, if you guys are doing um, a spa, just to be, let us know if it's going to be a larger than normal. An 8x8 is pretty standard size. It's going to have two pumps and a heater. Um, some of the spas like Sundance will have a three wire system, six gauge, and they go up to 60 amps so you can actually have the heater run uh, more frequently than other brands. Uh, most other hot tubs are going to be a four wire, six gauge with the, the number 10 or eight ground. So 